Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, episode 25, the screencast that introduces you to terms like lexicographical. I'm Ryan Shea, and in this episode we'll be talking about comparing sequences and other types. So in our prior example, I had a comparison b is less than bar. In this case, it evaluates to true, but you may have wondered how that comparison takes place in Python. What Python uses is something called lexicographical ordering. That's just a fancy way of, of saying sort of an alphabetical comparison. Um, in this case, the way that Python would evaluate the comparison is first look at the first item in the sequence. Both these strings, b and bar, are strings, and sequentially going through them, we're looking letter by letter. It compares b to b. If if those were different, then it wouldn't need to continue any further. It would look at that ASCII-betical comparison and evaluate whether or not one was greater than the other. In this case, they are the same, so it moves on to the next letter. Since A exists and the second item in the sequence of the first string doesn't exist, the bar string is greater than B. Here's a couple of other examples that may be interesting. Let's take a tuple. One, two, three, and compare that to one, two, four. So in this case, it evaluates the first integer, then the second. Both of those are the same. It gets on to the third, and the right tuple is greater than the left. So this will evaluate to true. Let's take a look at the same thing for a list. It's evaluated the exact same way. It compares the two first items in the sequence. One, they're the same. The second, two, they're the same. And the third, four, and true. The list on the right is greater than the one on the left. Let's compare some strings. This is truly ASCII-betical. ABC is less than C is less than Pascal is less than Python. So Python will compare the A to the C. It need not go any further. It knows that this condition is true. A is less than C, ascubetically. It will compare C to P. And it need not continue any further. It knows that P is greater than C. It will compare P to P, and those are the same. So it will move on further. A to y, and now it knows that this condition is true. Python is greater than Pascal is greater than C is greater than ABC. All right, let's look at unequal sized tuples. One, two, three, four is greater than one, two, four. Same reasoning. It gets on to the third item, three, four, and it knows that the condition is true. Let's compare two different lists. One, actually let's do tuples. One, two is less than one, two, negative one. It doesn't matter that this third item is negative. It still makes this list longer. An existent third item is greater than a non-existent third, third item in the first tuple. And here's another tuple, one, two, three equals to 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. These comparisons will be performed numerically, and in this case, it is exactly equal. 1.0 1 equals 1. That's all for now. This screencast is directly inspired by the official Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org.